Well, these riders now have got over 70 miles in the legs and you can tell that by the way that Dean Downing is rocking that bike side to side here. Looks like Dean's in a very, very big gear and he's just trying to get any little bit more effort out of the bike. Yeah, just look at the, the style of a lot of the riders. You know, they're, you know, Macaulay's at the front seems to be, uh, you know, riding strong today. Uh, looks as if uh, Sharman's struggling, but, uh, you know, he's had these problems, his own problems today with his bike. But uh, it's Macaulay that decides to have a go. Well, Gordon Macaulay knows that he can't take Dean Downing with him to the finish because Downing is a fantastic sprinter. Someone like, it's interesting the team tactics must be going on in these guys' heads because McIntyre will not have a good sprint on him. He'll have to go out and try and attack. Downing will be happy to just sit in here and wait, as will Sharman. And Macaulay is the uh, oldest rider in the group, and he knows he needs to get rid of the fast sprinters like Downing today. Yeah, but Downing is very, very shrewd. Uh, Jason McIntyre still hanging on the back there. He doesn't seem to have the change of speed. Having, have, you know, been a time trial champion, he doesn't have that change in speed, so he seems to be struggling a wee bit. Uh, but Macaulay at the back here, and, you know, we're going to see a plenty of action on this last lap. Well, it looks like the clouds are getting a little bit grey there as McIntyre tries to get some energy into him. Maybe he's suffering a little bit here. No, he looks quite calm and relaxed. He's got a very different style to everybody else here as uh, these four riders continue with the pacemaking. Sharman definitely not on a team bike here, so he's clearly had some mechanical trouble. And that's fantastic that he's still in the front group. Yeah, it is, but you've got four riders. It looks as if they've, you know, the team cars are behind. They've got a considerable gap of probably just you know about a minute now. But uh, you've got one rider from each team here. You know, pick a winner. Yep, absolutely. And then the peloton, I don't think are going to see these four riders again today. It's every man across the road now. Sharman in white on the right, Macaulay in pink in the middle, Downing looking pretty sinister in black, and McIntyre. These legs must be absolutely screaming. Brian, you've done this. How tough is this for these riders? It's pretty tough. They're all over the road there. You know, we're on the seventh lap. You know, the legs are hurting, and nobody really wants to put the full pressure on. You can see them all riding, you know, across the road in front of each other. Nobody's really putting the pressure on at the moment and uh, are we going to see attacks because we cannot have down and be brought to the line so what's who's going to attack first we really don't know well it's interesting Dean Downing sent me an email during the week and he said look out for the tour of the reservoir I'm going to win it so he's obviously knows he's on form as Downing goes on the right hand side yeah Downing to say the goal which is you know as a surprise I thought you know maybe Macaulay would have had had a go Sharon had a go because you know look at the back here Jason McIntyre is just trying trying so hard to stay with it and I think for me it could be just riding for fourth today. Well the heart rates will be getting up towards 200 beats a minute here as they put in an extreme effort. Dean Downing, well you'd normally expect and we've been saying he'll wait for the sprint but Downing's decided to go on the attack and he's leaving these three riders behind. He certainly is but uh, you know they need to get organised because uh, Dean has got some form at the moment. To, you know he's he won two stages in the bike line. He seems to be uh, got the bit between his teeth and wants to win this race as well. But they really need to help each other out. Both Macaulay and the Sharman and McIntyre really have to ride and try and get back up to this, uh, you know, this rider from Rafa Condor, Dean Downing. Otherwise, you know, the, the end of the race is just in front. Absolutely. Well, the bottle gets thrown off here by Rob Sharman. He's finished that one. And now Dean Downing has got a lone effort on his own. He just has to sit there, concentrate, not look around too often. And then, uh, but he is looking around an awful lot. I wonder if these riders are coming back. The gap is not opening up here for Dean. He's struggling a little bit. Yeah, it looks as if he has. And the fact that he's looking around, but it's McCauley that's decided to go. Sharman's struggling to go with him. And Jason McIntyre just doesn't have the power today. Look at Sharman, that familiar style, a former wearer of the King of the Mountains jersey in the Tour of Britain and Sharman is trying to hold on to the wheel of Macaulay this well they've caught Downing I wonder if Downing has used the wrong tactics today because you would expect him to win this race pretty easily in a sprint I wonder if he's taken the the zip out of his legs with that attack there's a possibility here but they're giving them the chance everybody you know Sharman Macaulay and Downing are tired you know nobody's taking advantage and McIntyre's just come straight back and you know, we're going to see uh, McIntyre go, just go straight on the attack, but everybody's decided it's nullified, get their breath back, and it's playing into the hands of the sprinter Downing. Absolutely. Well, D McIntyre, he's not only known as a time trialist, but this is a fantastic performance by this young rider who is uh, looking like, I don't know if the other riders really know what to do with him here. 
Yeah, I don't think he he know what to do, but um, I think the the gap uh, to the the second group in the road is quite considerable now, so they can afford to you know go into these tactics, look at each other, and uh, try and play around. But it's all playing into the hands of Downing at the moment. The guys have to you know think about this and, and try and go on the attack. But for me, uh, Jason McIntyre is looking you know he's looking very tired and it's down and it goes again <laughs> downing well this time oh, oh. listen to the squeak of the brakes he decided he didn't want to do that downing's playing with these riders isn't he yeah it's jason mcintyre just goes to the front he said enough of this stopping and starting and going to the front and he wants to try and use his time trial and speed to try and gain some uh, some time on the, the others and it's uh, down and just sits there and uh, it's mccauley decides to go well mccauley now jumps across he knows that Downing is the danger man. McIntyre and Sharman want to get rid of these two riders, certainly. Uh, McCauley is zipping his way through. Look at this, it's fantastic. McCauley, I don't know if McCauley is super confident today. He doesn't look like he's uh, maybe on the form that we may see during the season. Well, I just saw something back there, you know, when uh, Downing tried to bluff McCauley, when um, uh, Sharman and McIntyre went up the roads, you know, Macaulay was the first one to react as we come up to the left hander and that will take us onto the damn road and into the finish. But for me, you know, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going down to a sprint finish and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be Dean, uh, Dean Downing. But, for, you know, the guys have, you know, really, they have to attack him. They have to do something. Well, we saw the flags flying there. The wind is absolutely whistling across from the right hand Sharman, side no, no, now. No, no, Sharman. no, 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 no. It's Sharman's gone to it. He doesn't have the speed, and he's he's just taking um, he's just taking uh, Macaulay and Downing with him. Jason McIntyre's is going, and it looks as if you know. To me, they're they're playing into the hands of, of Dean Downing. They're leading them out. Well, Rob Sharman maybe got a little bit nervous there, because he should really have just sat in and waited and tried to spring from the wheel of Dean Downing. Rob Sharman goes a little bit early. The wind blowing really heavily across here. These riders have put in a magnificent performance. 144 kilometres. <laughs> McIntyre comes back again. Yeah, McIntyre just comes back again. Just got Sharman just jump it. They have to duff it. Why did Sharman? I don't understand why Sharman just jumped on his wheel. He should have just let. They know that Dean Downing is a sprinter. He should have just let um, Jason McIntyre go, and then Dean would have been forced into the, you know, the offensive and tried to go with them. It's the only way they're going to beat. But now with uh, McIntyre riding at the front, it's just going to come down to a, a four-up sprint, and you know, your money would go on uh, Dean Downing at this moment in time. Well, four riders, four different teams: Rafa Condor with Dean Downing, Plowman Craven with Gordon McCauley, KFS with Rob Sharman, Velo Acosta. Dooley cycles with Jason McIntyre and Downing is hanging back here like you do in a track sprint as they head up to the finish he's watching everybody they've completely played into the hands of the sprinter in black from Rafa Condor McCauley knows this he's looking around they can see the finish banner in sight 200 meters to go and Downing opens up full gas for the finish no, no. three riders going for it here McCauley's putting in a big effort but Downing is absolutely powering his way to the line can Downing win this race? Yes, he does. It's Downing from Rafa Condor, McCauley in second for Plowman Craven, Rob Sharman in third for KFS, and Jason McIntyre takes fourth. Look at this, Brian. Yeah, he went for it there, and uh, for me, uh, you know, Dean had uh, some sort of legs because McCauley came back up on the line, so as we see Dean Downing take it quite easily with uh, half a bike from McCauley. Sharman well beaten in third place and in fourth place um, Jason McIntyre of the Edge Racing Team Jolly Cycles. Well another fantastic round of the Premier Calendar. Downing takes it in 3 hours 40 minutes. It was, it was tight. I think Gordon made a mistake of um, sitting a bit too close to Robin who was, who was in second place and I kind of laid off a bit and got a Got a little bit of a jump, not too much. You know, when you're going full gas at the end, if you're both going the same speed, if you get that little gap, then you can try and hold it to the line, which happened today, so it's, uh, it's great. Congratulations. Cheers. Well, after a grueling day here in the North East, Dean Downing heads the Premier Calendar standings after a fantastic performance. Join us next time in Gerben.